Hi, my name is Chaz Thompson. I am a fire commissioner for the Lido and Point Lookout Fire District. And I'm also a uh, ex-chief of the Point Lookout Lido Fire Department. On behalf of the fire district and the fire department, I'd like to w welcome all the soldiers and their families to Point Lookout for our Holiday for Heroes party. Uh, we did this last year. It was probably the greatest event all of 2014 in Point Lookout, and we're looking to make it bigger and better in 2015. So everybody, welcome. Come on into the fire house and enjoy the day. How you doing everybody? Thanks for coming out for this great event. I want to thank on behalf of the Chief's Office, the officers and the members of Point Legal Legal Fire Department. I want to thank everybody for coming out to this. Uh, more than honored to have you guys here with us today. Um, if you guys are ever in the neighborhood when this isn't going on, knock on the door, come in, hang out with us. Our doors are always open to you guys. Thank you guys for what you do and happy holidays to everybody. Okay, on behalf of the Point Lookout, the Lido and Point Lookout Fire District, again, I'd like to thank the members for all their hard work, but again, I'd like to thank the community for coming out and supporting this great event. The people that are here today that we're honored to give so much, and we can have to come here and show that we support them, that we appreciate everything that they do for us, because we have the liberties that we have because of what they do. So, on behalf of the Fire District and all the fire, let's give our heroes a round of applause. Thank you. It's hard to believe when we first started this, we went to City Hall in Long Beach, and I don't think, I think we had like a dozen people showed up, and people were, there were, there were those who said, oh, this will never take off, this will never become what it has become, and this, this particular event was kind of like a secondary event, and now it's become a primary event, just like this just like the summer event. And uh, I'd especially like to thank, one of the things is, I haven't been here for a, for a few years due to illness, but the, uh, the Point Lookout Lido Fire Department has stepped up, and the Long Beach Volunteer Fire Department, they've stepped up and filled such a void that they're just an integral part of this whole program now. And one of the, there's a few people that are never acknowledged, and uh, that's our salespeople. And uh, you see them over there selling shirts, Kathy Marovich, Linda Polka, Sammy. And also a purveyor of all things good to eat, Jane Blackburn. And Greg Spina, give him. And, uh, and our chief medical advisor, Patty Farrell. And of course, he's there with a sandwich, Jerry Snell. And a board member, Randy Dodd, who does the parade. And Robbie McCallis, who runs our in fundraiser. Our motorcycle leader is standing in the background there. Rick. 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 And last but not least, Sam. On behalf of one service member, and I'm sure all service members, 
You guys are the true heroes. You guys are the th ones that make it go every single day. And this weekend has been awesome. You guys have taken us to a lot of great places. We've met a lot of great people, a lot of good cooking. You know, we couldn't beat it. I mean, it's great. Sure, sure. sure soldiers, police officers may run towards bullets, but most people run away from fires, except firefighters. There's nothing but respect for you guys. For the past service members, again, we'd like to thank you guys for your service. And, you know, we, we do it for each other. For the man in front, back, side to side. Without, without each other, we wouldn't be here today. And there's no other brotherhood like it. And, again, I'd like to thank everybody for having us. It, it couldn't... Because without people like you guys, it'd be very hard to keep a voluntary force, you know. But I, I just want to say, between New Yorkers and Texans, they're the best people when it comes to supporting the military. So, I'll, I'll pass the mic off to Captain Wells here. And uh, I just, once again, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for having us. And we greatly appreciate it from our hearts. To you guys, God bless, have a happy holidays and safe holidays, and we love you guys. Thank you, Sergeant Sleet. He introduced himself, but his name is Sergeant Sleet. Everybody's a Sergeant Sleet. On behalf of the uh, B Waterfront Warriors, uh, I'd like to extend you know, a gracious thank you so much to everyone. Uh, for everything that you've done for us, and uh, we're, we're truly humbled. You know, truly, um, one of the one of the biggest things that when we come back from uh, overseas or an injury or anything like that is is the mental resiliency part of it, and that's getting away, and this is what you all contribute to us now. So uh, it's not just a free trip and some fun things to do, but it actually helps us get our mind right so we can get back into regular life. You know. Um, so, um, like Sergeant Sleep said, that we, there's no way we can do this without you. Uh, whether you're police, fire, EMS, the military is one team, one fight. You know, we're all Americans, right? All Americans. So, um, so I would just like to. Uh, Again, say thank you so much. We're truly grateful for everything that you've done for us. And um, have a Merry Christmas, everybody. All these people here, they, they all love you for all that you do, and especially my family, yours. So thank you so much for coming. I've been completely impressed since I, we actually hit ground here. I met with Jerry and 
some emails back and forth. I talked to our coordinator back at Fort Belvoir, and within eight hours of being here, I said, you can't sell this better than what they've done. I walked up to Jerry and said, hey, you gave me a schmedium for a, a large, I need a bigger jacket, I'm kind of fat. So he gives, here's the jacket that he, he took off his back to give me. I'm just highly impressed. Thank you. I'm just impressed. you call me fat? No. <laughs> I still have some room to grow. But I, from, from my family, and I also know all the, the soldier members that are here, we just want to say thank you so very much for everything that you've done. I came to New York, never been here before, always heard such bad stories about New Yorkers. They're true. They're not true. I'm highly impressed, and I am so thankful that you've invited us in, into your homes and made us a part of your families and we hope to be able to keep some of the, the communications back and forth from now on. It's friends that are in New York and you're more than welcome to come to our house in Lynchburg. So thank you so very much.